Hi there, Year One children. It's Mr. Yardsley in the nest today for today's story, and it's all about saving the ocean. It's called Harry Saves the Ocean. It's by Sylvia Fay and illustrated by Danielle Dimmett. Wonder who Harry might be. On the crest of a wave and the wisp of the wind, Harry the happy mouse was packing his things. And where he's going? Any idea? The family were excited. Let's laugh and let's cheer. Not far to go now. The beach is quite near. The coast is in sight. It's just down the track. Hooray, shout the family. It's nice to be back. I think they've been to the beach before. The children smiled at the sight of the sea, while Harry and Katie unpacked with a great glee. The happy mice raced to their holiday house. It was small and cosy, just right for a mouse. Harry set off on his sandy beach walk. I wonder if I'll find for a lovely beach talk. The sunlight danced on the clear blue sea. The waves hit the beach so wild and free. Oh, it's lovely walking on a beach like that. Help me, please help me, called a voice from the sea. There's a bag on my head and I just can't get free. Can you see what it is? It's a killer whale. Along the whale's back, the mouse swiftly sped and pulled off the bag from the mighty whale's head. Oh dear, said Harry, this seems strange to me. What on earth is a bag doing in the sea? Oh dear. It's dumped, said the whale. The fish are so sad, thinking and dreaming of the home they once had. The ocean is full of rubbish, you see, and that is so bad for them and for me. I'll hold it there. See if what you can see and name all the different types of rubbish that's been dumped in the sea there. I can see quite a lot of cans and bottles and ring pulls and holders. Lots of plastic, which isn't good, is it? Your bags and your bottles, your bucket and spade, the trouble with plastics is they don't degrade. Biodegrade, said Harry. Explain this to me. What does it mean for you in the sea? Well, paper and cardboard and food rot away. But plastic won't. It's here to stay. It ends up in the ocean and clogs up the sea. And that is a problem for you and for me. Oh dear, said Harry. That'll never do. But if we all join together, we can help you. I'm just a small mouse, but I've got a big plan. We'll clean up the sea. I know that we can. Excuse me, seagulls, can you help me? Harry explained how much help they could be. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. Hello, Mrs Turtle, can you help me? It'll be a great job when you've cleaned up the sea. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. I think they're all going to help. Hello there, Mr Puffin and Pelican too. I've got a great plan for me and for you. It's a big job for one, but we all lend a hand. We'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. The plastic is harmful to you and to me. I'm sure that the crabs can help clean up the sea. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. Harry and Katie, the little mice too, joined with the rest of the beach clean-up crew. Come on, said Harry, we can see this through, and every creature had something to do. They picked up the bottles, the packets and bags, they collected the cartons and packaging rags. They are every lending a hand. Harry was happy and shouted to all, OK, everyone, follow my call. Put the plastic in red, the glass goes in green. Wow, look what we've done, the beach is so clean. By stopping the plastic getting into the sea. We're saving the oceans for you and for me. They're different recycling boxes, aren't they? Harry looked happy. What a great day. All of the beaches should look the wet this way. Spread word to your friends, birds of the sea. Let's make our beaches and seas plastic free. 
and the messenger seagulls set off on their quest, spreading the word from the east to the west. Clean up the plastic, it's dangerous, you see. It's better for all who live in the sea. Harry waded out to explain what he'd done. Your beach is now clean. Go swim and have fun. Thank you, kind mouse, said the dolphins and whales. They saluted the helpers with waves of their tails. It was a big job for one, but we all lent a hand. We soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. On the crest of a wave and the wisp of the wind, Harry and his helpers had done wonderful things. It's lovely that they cleaned up the sea. It's been nice to see during lockdown some people going out on their exercise and tidying as they go. Round by where I live there's a little wood and every now and again I see people walking the wood with a big black bag and they're tidying it as they go picking up all the things that other people have left behind that they shouldn't have. You might want to do a bit of that this weekend when you're out and about. I'll see you on Monday for another story year one. Just remember if you see someone without a smile give them one of yours and I'll see you next week. Take care and be safe.